Hi everybody, you gotta check out this interview that I took from a company called Nice Ride Inc. They build amazing machines. Their motto is as follows. They say, we build yesterday's look using modern technology. They can build you probably any Harley that you want if you describe it or send them a picture, but they specialize in this is this what I'm showing you. This is what they build. Look at this thing. This thing has a modern motor, modern frame, but it looks, they make it look like an old Harley. Look and feel. The idea is Check them out. you're building yesterday's look with today's technology. Correct. Correct. Yeah. We, we, we're, all, we're all old school souls here. You know, our, our love comes from the beginning of Harley Davidson, not uh, now, because every bike looks like every other bike. So, um, you know, Sonny has been building bikes for over 40 years, and he came up with the concept of, of doing something. You know, he built something that was kind of retro and cool looking, and I was like, man, let's take this to the next level. So we, we took it to the next level and kind of took the show on the road had an amazing response you yeah. know people we went to bike week 2019 and we brought two of the builds the pictures that i sent you the red one and the white one and uh entered all these competitions and we were taking first place almost everywhere we went because when i saw that picture i said okay i, I want to talk to these guys this is this is something that i would want to buy for sure because you know, it's it's nostalgic. Even though I'm a I'm a younger guy, I've always wanted to have something like that. But obviously, um, you know, I don't want to be always fixing it. I want to be riding a cool bike like that. <laughs> so, and that's what you guys are doing. You're, you're making them uh, reliable, but still have that look. And that's that is so cool. You don't want to ride it. You got the power to pull, the braking, but you feel like you're truly on an old bike. You know, it sounds like it fits the part, but. Yeah, really cool stuff. Love yeah. it. What we do is we use like a specific year soft tail, right? Yeah. So 91 through 98 Harley Davidson soft tail frames we use. So we have clean Harley titles so that the bikes are registered Harley Davidson motorcycles. But then we just strip them down to the bare frame and kind of build from there. Now, let me ask you uh, the soft tail. That's that's when the when the shock is in the middle, in the that's back. That's when the shock is pivoting like this. Yeah. You got the shocks underneath the bike. Yeah. Oh, that's a cool design because they tried to replicate the rigid frame when they came out with that, and it's a really cool design. So you've got a spring the spring arm assembly is like a spring fork. So at first vision you think maybe it's a hardtail, but you've got the suspension, which is very cool about these bikes. You know, we put the little spring seat on them and such. Yeah. That bike that I was looking at, the black one. Uh, the photo that you that I liked. So yeah. that, that it looks like it doesn't really have any suspension in the back other than on the seat. Right. And 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 that's done purposely because soft tails usually have rear fender struts. Would they come up? The one we got up to upside too bad we don't have the frame yeah, down. We, 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 we would have showed you. Well they come up and the fender struts come across in the back. Yeah. Sonny cuts them down so they're equal with the swing arm. So you got the swing arm like this and then it comes in. So it looks like a rigid frame, but the shocks are underneath. The soft tails have the shocks underneath. Wow, so, you, so you're telling me that, you're telling me that bike on the photo actually has a rear suspension. That's yes, sir. All, there's, you can't even tell that's so, and that's what, you know, that's what makes it look so cool, but, uh, and and it's gonna ride comfortably because it you know it still has a. I, I do all the test driving on these things, so I'm telling you, it's like one of the most comfortable cruisers you will ever drive because not only do you have the give from the soft tail, but you also have the four inch springs that are absorbing every bump too. So you're truly wow. like, you know, there even when you hit a hard bump, most of the noise will come from the springs compressing in the front and not anything in the back. I mean, you really take them nicely. Yeah. That's that's the beauty of this. Even a big rider like Brent. That's what I was gonna first say. Yeah, yeah. Brent, Brent's 6'4". Six, 6'4". Four. Six, four. Oh, wow, that's a big guy. <laughs> felt comfortable on it and looked comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Works for talking. Yeah. yeah.
and 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 there's no uh, there's no new um, new bikes that have springs in the seat, right? I mean, they're just foam. No, right? no. Yeah. The the police bikes, right? The, well, they had an air bladder system. Remember the the crossbones? Crossbones, yeah. They had like a, a air bladder suspension, yeah. a little mini shock. Yeah. yeah. You guys are kind of combining the two suspensions because right now, you know, the bikes they have just rear suspension. Back then, they used to have just seat suspension you guys are combining both of those which is making yes, it, making it ride like unlike anything and out still there still bring in the beautiful spring or front end into yeah. the picture because that's the beauty of a motorcycle is that front end yes and that's what makes it look how it should right and, sure. and those those spring or front ends do you how do you do you make those or you get them or refurbish them or some somehow or oh, Doing DNA Springer front ends, we do a two inch under setup to get the low profile of the bike and all. There's a number of companies, Paco, that sells the Springers or replica ones. You can get the true replicas, you know, out of the 40s, but they had drum brake setups. So we want to run the late model disc brakes for better braking. Yeah. So we've been running DNA product and very good product. Oh, so, so there's actual companies that make yeah, there's this. a company called DNA, there's a company called Paco. They make everybody, there's a few companies that make the front ends, but there are some good ones and some and some bad. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's coming together. The, I'm, I'm uh, starting <laughs> to understand the picture. And then, uh, so basically, okay, so we got the suspension. We got the the frame. That's kind of it's you know you said it's like a '90s something frame usually. '90s soft tail frame. Yep. Yeah. Evo soft tails. Evo, Evo soft tails because you know it, it's got the feel. So that's the beauty of. It's got great braking. It starts on a dime. It doesn't leak. It doesn't break down. <laughs> the feel, the ride, yeah. the sound is truly like having an old bike. That's the cool thing about it is it's, it can't compare anything new to it. The ride, it gives, it's a soft ride. I wouldn't recommend going cross country on it, but you yeah. can. If you, you go can, crazy yeah. enough, you know. <laughs> yeah, the exhaust system we designed in house. I took a twin cam bagger head pipe. We cut it off where it crosses under, goes to the other side. So we use that front head pipe there, and then we get a three inch fishtail pipe. We gut it. We put a nice fancy Heinz baffle, a performance baffle in there, and weld it all up, make our mounts. So you had the true old school look doing the one with the fishtail, but it's actually a performance pipe. It's a performance yeah, pipe. So there's really no nice. there's no backfire. You know, I mean, it, you can really roll through the gears. Um, the first two builds we did had uh, 107 SNS motors in them, which was big. An overkill. It was an overkill. It was a, it's a lighter bike, you know. But yeah. we've been using the 80 Evo motors, the SNS. Absolutely perfect. Just perfect cruising shifts through all all five gears nicely. Uh, you can clip at it, you know, 70, 75 if you got a straightaway. No shake, no wobble. Just it's a solid build bike, man. You yeah. know. And so, so you guys are using more more of the Evo motors now. We we do because they're still carbureted. Mm -hmm. You know, and 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 SNS is the best motor company as far as uh you know oh factory motors um they made for a long time and they made here in the states and made good you know well mm -hmm. not not some of the china motors like uh what was the china motor there uh, well, rev tech rev tech korea or, yeah ultima ultima, ultima. <laughs> they get noisy they're real noisy engines mm -hmm. so, oh, so this this sns company they basically are uh building like the old evo motor like everything inside the motor is just like the evo yeah and it, it's an evo replica and they actually do Earlier motors too. SNS does shovel head motors, pan, even knucklehead replica motors, high yeah. performance 93 cubic inch motors, and they're very big in the twin cam. And actually, they're now moving into the M8, you yeah, know, M8 M8. motors, but they're very good with you know twin cam product too. They'll sell complete motors up to 145 cubic inch motors, you know. But uh, yeah, they're, they've been around for a long while. They do very good performance motors. They, they build better engines than Harley Davidson does. Oh, yeah. They, they, they got, <laughs> Really, for real. I mean, like the stuff that they use internally is better than what Harley Davidson does. I can I can see it. So you know, I can see that happening because uh, you know I'm sure that they are a much smaller company, so they they're you know they're not mass producing like Harley is like crazy. So when you right. when you do stuff on a smaller scale, it's always going to be better. Yeah, got a build out of the this number six one that we put out that you saw that you like the black one. Yeah. Uh, a gentleman in Norway 
uh, wealthy guy, I take it. Uh, he, he sent us a picture of what he wants built. And now we're in the final, we, I just sent him the contract over. So we got another build coming out of this and then possibly one more in Canada. So the market is there, you know, oh, yeah. to find to find the guys who still love that vintage look. That's what we're going after, you know. Everybody's doing the big wheel baggers, the crazy stuff, loud music. We, we, we're just sticking to the basics. I'll show you a quick little, uh, you see this over here? You see that bike right there, the black frame? Yeah. That was a 2021 street glide with eight miles on it that was delivered to the shop on Friday. Here it is right there. Uh, <laughs> the survey card, can you see the survey card? So Brent, so Brent is going to uh, make something pretty sick out of this thing. It's gonna be something absolutely insane. See, this that is, is crazy. everything that uh, he tore everything down to the bear. I wanna show you something cool in here. Look at this, 1942 survey car. Yes, yes, it looks like I see that's This, this is the pivot bolt. This is the soft tail. Yeah. See the shocks down below underneath? And it pivots like this. But it looks at the look of a vintage frame. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah. Thank, thank you, Alex. Thank you so much for All right, buddy. Thank you, Alex. Okay. Happy New Year, buddy. Bye-bye. All right, thank you. Thank you, buddy.